Really, one thing remains to be done. We've created our parts, assembled them, and done various other things to make them look as effective as possible. Now we want to communicate the technical information, and that is done with a drawing. Now we could do the, the whole assembly. It's better practice really just to do one component at a time, unless we want to show how they fit together, or give a sort of parts list. So I'm going to right click on the cube, left click on open, that opens my cube. Just click on that, I can then do a new drawing, and I'm going to call this from cube, drawing from cube. Just press enter. I want A3 size. If I click up in the box here, use the cursor arrows just to move to the left. Check that I've got um, cube with holes. So this is this, look at the top, that is this actual part. That's fine, that's what I want to do. Click OK. And I automatically create my drawing. I just minimize it slightly to make it fit into the Camtasia view I'm using. Things look rather small. Bottom left hand corner it says scale one to one, so it's full size. Double click on that and I can put in the dialog strip there two over one, which is twice full size. Click OK, that doubles the size. I can then left click to select a view. Right click, I can show model annotations. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Got model annotations here. So I hover over these. You can see how the dimensions turn green, put a tick in, they go blue. They've been selected. I can also quite simply click on the drawing, which can be a much quicker way to pick the ones that you want. Careful thought worthwhile here because you do need to make sure that it's the best view to show those dimensions on. And you're doing it automatically such as this, it will only let you have each dimension once. So I then click to apply, cancel, to just stop doing that routine, go to the actual fit option, click another view, right click, show model annotations, hold down shift button, move the view, just roll the mouse wheel to zoom in. Uh, which one's around here? Well, I'll put this dimension here, that dimension there. The naught is just an offset, totally meaningless, so I won't bother to do that. Fit. Okay, now this this one, I've got this funny little dimension. If I roll in, we can see this dimension. Just press shift and I'll bring that a little bit more in the middle of the screen. Pointing to what? 0.5D. Difficult to know what it is. So again, this time I right click select the actual model first, right click, properties, go to view display, and when it says no hidden, this time I'm going to have hidden detail. Apply that, then close, I don't want to do any more with that one. If I zoom in, we can see it's the chamfer we made around the hole, and that is say 0.5D. It's a, it's a, remember it's a circular chamfer, there are ways of showing that differently, something we will look at uh, later date. So you can change them hidden, you could if you want to do change this view, so it's just a normal outline view, really the option is yours. If you right click on a view, you can see that says here lock view movement, if I deselect that, I can then select that view and move that to wherever I want. I would perhaps think it looks better there. Right click again, lock view movement, then it can't be moved. Little things, but very, very quick and easy to do. That really is our basic introduction to drawing.